when you know it's final tribal council, you're like, wow, it's over. And this is who it was. This is who it is for your season that you were on. It's Ty, Michelle, and Aubrey. They outwitted you, outplayed you, and outlasted you. And you have to come uh, to terms with that. That's difficult for me because I don't think they're smarter than me. I don't think they're uh, more strategic than I am. But the results would say otherwise. They figured it out and I didn't. So it's going to be difficult for me to even vote for one of them. Like, I don't want to vote for one of them. But you have a duty to do and I'll do it the best I can. And I hopefully I can lead the jury in somewhat of the right direction. Uh, yeah, you can't pout when you're on the jury. You have to accept it. But it's so, it's so annoying to see them sitting down there and having the opportunity to win a million dollars when you think or thought you should be the one. If I would vote for Ty tonight, it would be because he's provided, he's survived, he's uh, given so much back to camp life in regards to food, in regards to uh, shelter and fishing and getting coconuts or firewood or anything, or making fire. So he's been a huge support when it comes to surviving. And as far as his gameplay goes, he's outlasted. He's made his way through this game. He found an idol, didn't use it, didn't have to because Joe was eliminated. Uh, but he found an idol when most of us couldn't. Uh, he also won the reward where he got to use two votes, so he got another advantage. He won an immunity challenge, which was very impressive to go head to head with Sydney. So he has some credentials, he has some reasons to vote for him. And it's just what comes down to tie is how can he word it? How can he phrase it? Can he step up to the plate? That's what it real. That's the theme of this final tribal council. Who will step up to the plate? The reason I would vote for Michelle is because she did great in immunity challenges, especially at the end and reward challenges as well. And she had a moment in the game where it looked like she was going to be voted out at some point early on. And yet she somehow found a way to make it through all of that to get to the end, to sit down with the final three. And she's a nice person. She's likable. She's social. She's friendly. She, I don't think she said a mean thing about anyone or did anything mean to anyone other than vote them out, maybe blindside them, myself included. So to vote for Michelle, those would be great reasons because she hasn't made anybody too angry, too upset. And yet she kind of was going with the majority of the votes. She was always in the right position. Even if she was a follower, she was following correctly. Aubrey has a few reasons to vote for her. She was pretty much on the outs at the merge. When Neil got medically evacu evacuated, that threw things up in the air and she took the reins and formed that all girl alliance or a majority girl alliance and she got herself out of it. And that was huge for her because she could have been going home when Neil was possibly going home as well when he got medically evacuated. So she turned a bad thing into a great thing for her, her. And that was the momentum in her game. That was the big shift. And she seems like she was the one making the decisions. She seems like she was the one at the head of the alliance with Sydney, coming up with the strategies, coming up with the people who to vote out. And if she can tell me why, can say, I did this because of this, and I voted you out because of Y or Z. She deserves a million dollars. And she's the smartest person up there. She can talk. I mean, those are all points that I take into consideration. I want to vote for somebody who's intelligent. I want to vote for somebody who's in control. And I want to vote for somebody who will own it. So if she can do those things, I think she deserves to be the sole survivor. I'm basing my vote on honesty. Like, I don't want any BS. If you tell me you made mistakes, chances are I'll vote for you. If you're not delusional, you can't be delusional. I will automatically not vote for you if you're delusional. If you don't own your gameplay, if you don't own your mistakes, own your rights, own your wrongs. So that's what it comes down to, down to, down to with me. Uh, honesty, ownership, and manipulation. I want to hear one of those people say that they manipulated others to get to where they are. Because that's what I see Survivor as. You use people 
and you use them as best you can to get exactly what you want, which is a million dollars and the title of sole survivor. So they have to show me, and they have to show me confidence. Don't be lacking in confidence. Own it. You performed. You got, you got yourself to the final three. Shine. Let's go. This is the time to step up. Final tribal council affects my vote 100%. I am not set in, in any way for any of those three. You, they have to all bring it. And whoever brings it more than the, next, the, sitting, the person sitting next to them will get my vote. So I'm, I'm an open vote. I, I, yeah, I make my decisions in life last second when I have the most information possible. And I plan on doing the same tonight. Give me all the information you can and I'll make the best decision I can.